Hey guys, my name's Kevin. In today's video, we're gonna check out John Carpenter's Halloween theme on none other than the baritone. So we're gonna check out how to play this with tab, finger picking, and I'm gonna show you kind of the ins and outs to play this simple theme. So grab your baritone and let's check it out. Well, before we dive in, if you could do me just a little favor, and click that subscribe button so you're subscribed to the channel and you can find all of the other great content that we have available to you and that little alert bell so you know when the next video is coming out. All right, so I'm gonna break this down into some consumable components here and yeah, try saying consumable components three times in a row for your Halloween trick. And when we do this here, let me demonstrate to you how this first part goes and then I'll show you how to do it. So the first part sounds like this. So let's take that apart now and figure out how to do it. The tab appears on the bottom of the screen so you can follow along with that as I kind of explain note by note as we go through this here. So the first part here, again, we have our thumb to pluck down on the B string, our middle finger to pluck up on the E string. So we're gonna start by going, and I'm just gonna say the numbers as I do this so that you can see them below as we go. So the first part we're gonna do is I'm just gonna play with my middle finger, ninth fret on the E string, followed by seven, seven on the B string. So that's gonna happen two times to start this phrase. We go nine, seven, seven, nine, seven, seven. And then we almost do that again, but we're just gonna do a single nine, seven. So we have Nine seven seven, nine seven seven, nine seven, and then we end the phrase by putting our pinky down on the tenth fret. We're going to keep our index finger right where it is on the seventh, and then we do ten seven. So the full thing, nice and slow, is nine seven seven, nine seven seven. Nine, seven, ten, seven. So let's just try that together, nice and slow. I'll say the numbers, you can follow along on the tab. If you need to pause the video and just work on this little component. The good news is, is once you've learned this, this is really gonna help you for the next two parts here. So let's just try this together, nice and slow. I'll count us in. And I would also suggest before we do this, have your pinky accessible here to the 10th fret. Having your pinky sticking straight out like this is gonna make it harder to get down to the fret. So try to keep your finger nice and close here to the string so that when you're ready to go to that 10th fret move, your finger is right there. So here we go, starting on the 977. Seven. Oh, one, two, three, four. Nine, seven, seven, nine, seven, seven. Nine, seven, ten, seven. So that is the first part. Now let's get in to part two. The good news is part two, very similar to part one. We're just gonna shift what we're doing here. So we were on seven and nine before. We're gonna take our index and ring finger and move them down here to six and eight. The pattern that we just learned, we're gonna follow the exact same thing right here. So instead of being on nine and seven, we're here on eight and six, and we're gonna do the same thing. Eight, six, six, eight, six, six, eight, six, nine, six. So if you've already learned the first part, you're ready to go for the second part. So let's just try that together. Again, same thing. We'll just count in and play this nice and slow. One, two, Three, four, eight, six, six, eight, six, six, eight, six, nine, six, eight, six, six, eight, six, nine, six. So that's all you need to know for part two. And I'm just going to jump right in here to part three, where we're going to shift one more time down here to five and seven and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So for this part, we do seven, five, five, seven, five, five, 
7585. So we have all three parts. And the biggest thing that you really need to work on here is the timing of this and trying to get these to sing the same way each time. And then keeping those notes ringing as you shift down here, going down from the 7th and 9th to the 6th and 8th to the 5th and 7th. The cool thing about this is, and I've kind of played through this a bunch of times now as I've practiced it, is you could really do this anywhere on the neck and kind of create the same type of sound as the Halloween theme just by doing this exact same pattern. So if you want to experiment down here on the second and fourth fret, you can make a little darker sound down there. Try it in a bunch of different places. The place I'm teaching you is where you actually would do this for the key of the song, so it'll really sound true to that Halloween theme if maybe you're watching a scary movie tonight or something, or you want to maybe sneak up on your significant other and, uh, you know, maybe play the uh, Michael Myers theme. That always uh, goes over big in my house. So now to kind of put this all together, we're going to go through all three parts. Now we're going to play each part two times. So when I say two times, I mean this would equal one time. So I'll do that twice and then I'll shift down to six and eight and then I'll shift down to five and seven. So let's try this together. I'll say the numbers but follow along on the tab and let's check this out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Nine seven seven nine seven seven nine seven ten seven nine seven seven shift eight six six eight six six eight six nine six eight six shift seven five five seven five eight five seven five 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 seven five eight five all right so we're going to pick up the pace a little bit here if you need to spend more time with the slow version do that before you try this with me but if you're having the need for speed and you want to feel the halloween spirit here we're going to pick it up and play it kind of pretty close to what they play in the movie. So one, two, three, four, nine, seven, seven. Shift, eight, I hope you had fun learning the Halloween theme here on your baritone ukulele. I also wanted to mention last year I put out a video in standard tuning for this one. So if you guys are playing standard and you just came across this baritone video, I will leave a link in the description for that tutorial as well. I have put together a tab for this at allforuke.com. If you want to download that, you can check that out. And I also want to mention if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so and share with me any of your favorite Halloween tunes. I'm trying to kind of compile a list here so we know some kind of ideas of videos that we want to make in the future for the Halloween season. So leave those in the comments below. Let me know your favorite Halloween themed tunes. And my name's Kevin. I will see you next time. Thanks so much for learning with me. Keep smiling and playing your uke.